Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to Career Mode Kerbal Space Program. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, I'm making an episode. Damn, I should have done the bad news first. Bad news first. Bad news is that you've missed the last episode because I accidentally deleted it, having thought I'd previously uploaded it, which is silly of me to do when I haven't uploaded it. Good news is that uh, you haven't actually missed much, and the only thing that's changed, and let's go into the tracking station here to display this. The only thing that's changed is that this thing is now in an orbit around the moon. Okay, there's also this thing over here, which I really want to get rid of. That never happened. There's this thing over here which is in orbit around the moon. And we're going to go rescue it, I think, is the aim. Well, I don't know if we're actually going to rescue the, the craft. Rescuing the craft itself will be pretty damn challenging. Something that I'm not really up for at the moment. But we'll definitely rescue the pilot. Yes. So, let's go back to our space center, go back to our VAB, and make a simple ship that has a cockpit in it to rescue, rescue Jeb. I think it was Jeb. It might not have been Jeb, it might have been someone else, but whoever it is, they probably deserve rescuing. Probably. Where's our moon lander? Um, where is... Uh, probably this one, most recent version of leaving, leaving the cradle, I'd imagine. There we go, okay. So, yes, I understand I didn't use the fuel tanks here. I need to pay more attention to what's going on around me, I feel. If I had actually used those fuel tanks, everything would have turned out a lot better. And I'm just going to put the volume down to there. There we go. So, time for me to... Hmm, I'm not sure actually. I think if we just slap another command module on, things would probably go horribly wrong. <laughs> that looks funny, so I'm keeping it like that. Uh, yeah, very, very interesting. We have side mounts parachutes. Yes, side mounts parachutes. We use them. So what we're going to do is put two on the bottom one. And, yeah, that should work. That should be okay. I can see that working. Okay, and then we can get rid of Mr. Goo. Well, this is a rescue, rescue mission. We want as much fuel as we can get. So we've got those few fuel canisters on the side, which we will remember to use. We'll remember to use them. It'll be fine. And then we've got the rest of our regular launch stage, which I think is probably going to be sufficient for today. Let's think. 90 degree orbital change. Oh, it's going to be a lot easier than the moon landing, I reckon. And we probably did have enough fuel to actually make it back in these side tanks. So, we would be able to do a moon, a moon landing if we'd actually not screwed up. I say we, if I'd not screwed up, we would have been able to do it. So let's call this uh, rescue thing. Mark 1. Hmm. Outcome one. Is that how you spell rescuing? No, oh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's just launch the thing. We've got 15 minute episodes. Ah, the breathing room. Wow, the breathing room. 15 minute episodes now, because people don't like 10 minute episodes, which I don't blame them for, I understand that completely. So 15 minutes. Man, only got 10 minutes left, let's hurry up. So, I think everything should be staged correctly. And all we want to do is maybe time up a little so that we can get the moon into an easier location for us. Oh wow, uh, that's going to be cutting it tight, but you know, we'll be able to do it, let's do it. Go! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off and all that nonsense. So, we've got space for two, please say, yes, we only took one on the mission, okay. I was worried it would have automatically filled it with another guy. Uh, so we'd have to rescue another one. Or just drop him out now and say it never happened. Is there not anyone in there? No, it's empty, good, okay. Alright, we can throttle down a little bit, save some fuel. We've got these three big boosters, which are helping us out a lot. And now we've got two command modules, we probably have twice the uh, control authority. 
Although I'm not sure about that. At least from gyros. From the liquid engine's vectoring, we get exactly the same amount, no matter how many command modules we have. But uh, 200 meters per second, wow, we can slow down even more. And now we have to pull all the way back up. And we end up slowing down. Come on, 200 meters per second, keep that. Nope, okay, no, 197, keep that. Yes, there we go. Okay, 9 kilometers, begin our gravity turn. It's going to be a bit of a steeper gravity turn because we are going to be a bit late for our our orbital transfer node, I suppose. Because the idea is to wait till the ship is just, the moon is just behind the horizon about here. Unfortunately, it's about here, which is essentially just on the horizon. So by the time we get up, there it is. See, it's right there. By the time we get up to orbit, most likely not going to be in the best location for us to go. At least not go at 90 degrees to the orbit. If we were to instead just shoot over that a little bit, we should be able to get there without wasting too much fuel. To be honest, the the, the moon over the horizon whilst you're in orbit burn timing thingy is more of a rough guide. It kind of... I mean, the moon is so close and it's fairly it's got a fairly large gravity that it's kind of hard not to hit the moon. In fact, when you're doing interplanetary burns, if you haven't already, if you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're doing interplanetary burns, you'll know that, uh, yeah, hitting the moon is often quite a problem if you don't prepare for it beforehand. So I'm probably turned a bit too far over my gravity turn, but it seems to be okay. I don't want to tip down anymore, we'll just keep this angle. Yeah, okay, we're, we're going fast enough to probably justify this, this steep. Well, not very steep, it's, it's kind of shallow, very shallow cutting through the atmosphere. Okay, these engines are going to run out, eject and burn. Very smooth, very smooth. Keep this rising up. Oh, hang on, no, we're not burning We're not burning higher, because that would put us over here. We want to burn lower. Lower to shoot past it. To shoot in, in front of it, essentially. Okay, we can do that, that's manageable. Okay, 71 kilometers. Let's time warp up. Got plenty of fuel left in this stage, and we have got those two fuel tanks there. Which we shall be putting into this tank when it's empty, because that is the most efficient stage. We're going to try and make everything as efficient as possible. Okay, 71 kilometers, coming up in 30 seconds or so. 20 seconds, okay. And we'll start burning. About here. So shooting just below the horizon. Will probably work if we shoot above the horizon. Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, it probably probably would if it's going off in this direction. But we'd have to overshoot quite a bit, I reckon, which we don't really want to do. See, what we always do to get to the moon is a low low energy transfer, which is that we have just enough energy to just get us up to just the height of the moon, and then we, um, you know, get caught by it and fall down towards it. High energy transfers get us there a lot quicker, but we end up shooting way past the moon, and then when we get to the moon, we end up having to burn extra to account for the extra velocity. Quite interesting. Um, I what I said was wrong. We are we are burning upwards. We are burning above the horizon, I think. Because if you're if you're late, then you have to hang around more. That's it. Anyway, we'll drop the stage. Oh no, we've made loads of debris. Ah, I say loads, we've got one tank. Or one set of tanks in orbit. Oh well. Just gonna go back to pointing prograde and not being and not try to be so clever. Just it'll work, I know it'll work because we're late, which is better. Anyway, let's time warp. Four times acceleration. Coming up to ten minute episode. Wow! If this was a ten minute episode, I can understand. Just a lack of content here. Haven't really done anything apart from getting to orbit. Uh, okay, we should get our moon encounter. Ever so short. See, you have to you have to go past in order to wait for it to catch up, which is a waste of fuel. But there we go. Okay, now we can probably add our apparatus. We'll be able to do some good orbital maneuvers, I expect. Um, that's decreasing. Okay, good. What's the height of this? It goes up to it seems like two million, and then probably ten thousand or something. So, if we bring this down to 10,000. Or oh, 50,000, there we go. Do 50,000. Oh wow, does that orbit actually curve all the way around it? 
Oh, it shouldn't do that. It should just go off in that direction. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so time warp up. And... Oh, for... Come on! <laughs> it actually... It actually just exited the moon's orbit all by itself. But it was captured. I swear it was in the captured orbit. I probably should have checked to begin with, shouldn't I? Oh dear. Okay, well... Does anyone want to land on the moon? No, no, be sensible, Harvey, be sensible. Okay, we're not going to land on the moon. We're going to do a flyby of the moon using this interesting orbit we have, which is actually bringing our periapsis quite far down. I wonder if we burn here, and that increases it. If I burn at 90 degrees, will it decrease my orbit? There we go. 15, there we go, that's within the atmosphere. Right, so now we can just coast and do some science. So let's take some, let's take a crew report up in high curving orbit or mid curve and orbit, depending. Crew report. It's very round, with five scientific value. And we can transmit that back, or we could, but we're not generating any electricity from this engine, so that's not. In fact, let's eject our chutes right now. In case of emergency, you know? There we go. Because if we didn't have any electricity, then we're not going to be able to eject them and we'll die horribly. If we were out to fuel, that is. We can take an EVA report. Yeah, let's do that. EVA report. Come on, get a little wave away from your ship. There we go. Ah, there's the moon and the sun. You've recorded your observations about the situation. Eight, scientific value. Very vague, very generic. They need to add in some more of those. Just recording my observations about the situation is a very vague way of saying, You've done some science, well done. We don't know exactly where you are, but well done. Okay, let's take a high moon crew report. Okay. Crew report. Override existing. See, it does override existing. If we were to... Is it worth it? I don't know how much electricity it's going to use. If I transmit the data. Well, that was EVA report. Keep that. Review report. Voting in the space. Let's okay. Let's see what happens to our resources for future reference. So transmission. Oh, 65. Oh, okay. Took 30. Added five scientific data. Okay. Let's make another. Let's do a, a low moon orbit report. Seeing as I don't want to have to do another one of those electrical burns again. We can do an EVA report, can't we? I don't think it overrides them. Okay. Get out. Ah, see, you can see Kerbal. The moon and Kerbin, all on the same screen. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hang on, let's just get a thumbnail there. Need a thumbnail. Gotta have them thumbnails. There we go. Beautiful. That does look rather nice, actually. I mean, that does look rather nice, actually. <laughs> I stopped the recording accidentally. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah, I was supposed to press this button to take a screenshot. There we go. Okay, let's take a crew report. You recorded your observations about the situation. 24 scientific value. Excellent. Go on. That's worth it, definitely. Now we actually want to make sure we return all this information. Grab. Board. No, no board. Come on. Grab. No. J -j -j grab. Come on. Gah! These Kerbals and their jetpacks. I swear they have way too much fun. You. In. No, 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 in. In. Wow, okay. Just just be careful, just be just be calm, Harvey. In fact, you can probably... No, okay, it doesn't make a difference. Just very slowly, up, grab, and board. See? Just gotta do it slowly. It's all you need. Anyway. We're gonna have to change our periapsis again, and that's fine. We'll be able to burn at the periapsis here. Getting down... Okay, we're at periapsis in one minute. This is a low, low altitude now. Take our crew report. You look down at the cold grey surface. Spelled American. It looks really beat up with craters. We spell grey grey in English. 
I don't know why I said that. Of course there's going to be Americans following. Who am I kidding? There's hardly anyone. I think there's one British developer on the team. And besides, the majority of people buying this game are most likely in America. So, keep data. Let's go EVA. Majority of my subscribers are probably in America, aren't they? Hello. Hello. Crossing continents with these, these, these video footages. We've gone over 15 minutes, but I don't care. I just want to carry on playing. Where's the EVA button? Here. There we go. Okay. Take your EVA report. You have recorded your observations about the situation. Again. For the third time. Keep data. Grab. Board. Stored all that. And now it's time to go home. Okay, we're done the flyby. Much more realistic than just going straight off from moon landing. We might write that off as not happening. You know. Okay. So, we did a little burn then. Which did bring down our periapsis to nothing. Uh, do we want that? Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Got plenty of fuel left. I'm almost sad I didn't go for a landing. Probably would have had enough, you know. Probably. It's possible, it certainly. Now, what we're going to do about this... This up here. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the way this is in a really difficult orbit to get to. Maybe we'll just leave him. Is it Jeb? If it's Jeb? If it's Jeb, he won't care either way. So that'll be fine. Well, Jeb doesn't care either way. It's true. Jeb's just as happy orbiting it mindlessly as he is doing any landings. Why? Because Jeb has no soul. Anyway, we've opened up parachutes. I don't know why that would mean it, but yeah, we've opened up parachutes. Uh, I'm going to decouple our stage here. There we go. Wow, it, it flew away quickly. We do have a lot of resistance. That's three parachutes. Let's make sure we don't yank them off the ground using time warp. Nine kilometers. Do we have an inside view? Nine kilometers. Where's our altitude? Here. Oh, uh, no track. Okay, there we go. 2,000. 1,000 meters. And 5,000. 500, even. And parachutes open. Can we see out? Can we see any parachutes opening? There we go. There, there are the strings. Very nice. And that is the end of the episode. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, as we sit here in our capsule, ready to turn this thing to open it. Oh, oh, no. Parachute strings are still there. We haven't landed yet. You know what I really want? I really want Oculus Rift. As soon as they bring it out, early next year, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to try and mod it so that I can look around in command modules. And that will be excellent. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, come on, land. Come on. I've started doing my outro already. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like the video, blah, blah, blah. And I shall see you all next time. <laughs> He's rolling down the hill. <laughs> <sighs>